Welcome again. I am happy to announce that eSign is working again. Because of the newly added certificates, for signing any IPA files, without any computer. So let's get started. Let's start off, by launching Safari browser, and visit this very website, link will be in description. So before sideloading eSign, first let's set up the DNS. Tap on this button here, and if you see this page, tap on get link option, as shown. And on the next page, select the free option, to unlock the content. And then tap on continue. Now once the next page loads up, and then tap on the learn more option, which will open a new tab with random article, no need to stay on the page, simply go back to the previous page, and you will see this thank you message. Finally tap on open, and download the DNS profile into your device. Next, launch the settings app, and navigate to general, and to VPN, and device management, and here, just install the DNS profile. By tapping on the profile, and simply clicking on the install button. Now that we have the protection on. Next, go back to the same website, and let's sideload the eSign app. From the list, tap on any of the certificates name, as there are plenty of options available to choose from. And then once you get this pop-up, tap on open. And finally tap on install. Now let's go back to the home screen, and as you can see here, the eSign app is getting installed. And eventually it's installed successfully. But that's not it. As next, launch the settings app, and navigate to VPN, and device management, and simply trust the certificate. You will have to restart the iOS device too. Next, while booting up, you will see this screen. Just swipe up from the bottom, and tap on install profile option. Once the device boots up, let's go ahead, and launch the eSign app. Once you are on the eSign app, navigate to the settings section, and go to certificate management option. There is no certificate here, but we require the certificate to sign, and sideload apps. So to download the certificate files, go back to the same website. Scroll down to the bottom, until you find the certificates button, like you see here. Just tap on it, and download the certificate zip file. Next, once the file is downloaded, launch the files app, and locate the zip file. To get all the certificates, just tap on the zip file, to extract the file. And inside the extracted folder, locate the eSign folder. And inside the folder, we will only use that certificate, which worked when installing the eSign app. So go back to the eSign app, and tap on settings. Now, tap on import resource. And now simply locate that very certificate, that worked for you. After importing the certificate, navigate to file section. And you will find the imported certificate here. Just tap on the certificate file, and select, Import Certificate Management. Now we have the certificate ready to use, and if you see, if the certificate states, Revocation. Do not worry, it's intended to work nevertheless. Finally let's assign, and sideload any IPA file using eSign. From this file section, tap on this three dot icon here. And now select any IPA file of your choice, in my case, I will sideload the Sidestore app. Once the IPA file is imported, now navigate to app section, and the app will appear here. Tap on it, and select, Signature. And on the next page, tap on Signature. Once the signing process is over, tap on the Install button, and finally tap on Install, when you get this pop-up. Let's go back to home screen, and as you can see, the target app is sideloaded successfully, and the same is launching properly, without any issues. The most important part of the entire video. Launch the settings app, and navigate to general, and to VPN and device management. And finally navigate to DNS option. So whenever you are sideloading any apps, make sure to that you have selected the install only DNS, and when switching, make sure to turn on airplane mode, and then switch the DNS. It's very important to turn on airplane mode before switching DNS, and then you can turn off the airplane mode. And after installing the apps, and you have launched the app successfully, and using the app normally, then switch back the DNS, to any of the two option, except the install, only DNS. Do not keep the DNS to install only option, during normal usage. I hope you like my video, if you are interested in KSign, watch my next video.